Hi there athletes, Merry Christmas, Happy New Year's. Here's a little special video for you guys that I hope can help you enter 2022 in the best way possible. I am gonna go into details and explain to you why you need an agent as an athlete and hopefully that can be your first step towards becoming a professional athlete in 2022. Being an athlete, your main focus is, and it really should be, is becoming good at what you do, your sport. And that's why you don't have as much time to develop other skills. For example, how to reach out to marketing agencies, how to reach out to companies, how to brand yourself, how to up your social media game in order to reach more people and have more people follow you so that you can promote brands in a better way and then earn income. There's just so much to it and we don't have time for that. We don't have energy for that. And that's why you should pair up with an agent. Agents are simply trained to do this. Downside of this, they're gonna take a fee for it. And that's a little issue if you're already low on budget. That's why Sport Endorse, my own partner, is what I think is the best solution for just about any athlete out there. They only take a part of your commission or they only take a commission once you start generating income. So there's no chance of losing money here. It's only gonna be a plus. Sport Endorse is also online it's a mobile application which means that you can have it on your phone you don't have to go to any meetings and whenever there's anybody reaching out to you a company that might want to work with you or the other way around well it's already there in your pocket which makes it super simple and easy to go from reaching out to getting in contact with them to looking at a deal finalizing a deal and then ultimately handshake signature goes a lot faster this way and you're also sure that it's legit. Sport Endorse is already approved by not just me but uh, more than 1200 athletes. So you know it's worth it. Same goes for all the brands that they're connecting you with. Those brands are already certified. There's even like a facial recognition inside the application. So when you speak to a company, you know that it's the actual company. And I don't know if you felt like me, if you're an athlete, if you do have a solid social media game, you probably already received a ton of emails, classic spam that says, hey Victor, we love your YouTube, your Instagram, wanna collab? And most of it is just companies trying to make you spend a bit of money or even hacking into your accounts or getting your YouTube streaming key or things like that. Where Sport and Doors, they already filter all that away so you only get the good deal. One of the hardest things that I find being an athlete is to determine the right value. What's your value and what is the actual value if you're paid in products or if it's just uh, a fixed fee compensation. Uh, an agent will have more experience, she will or he will have worked with more brands and more, more athletes, so they know how to determine the rates that you should get, they should get. Uh, so that takes that part out of the image. Another thing, especially if you're coming from a smaller sport, a niche sport like speed skating is, then a good thing about agencies like Sport and Doors specifically is that they are gender equal and they are also equal in all sports so you don't have to be from one of the main sports because some brands which i think they realize using sport indoors is that athletes from small sports can represent other things and generate more value to a brand which so like i said in the beginning of the video the important thing as an athlete is that you have your mind set on becoming a better athlete you can't deal with all the other things such as accounting and taxes. We don't have time for all that. We don't know how it works because we shouldn't learn that. It's not our metier. And that's a good thing about Sport Endorse. They take care of that part too. So all that's left to do is just enjoy what you do and get good at it. For me, that's skating. I don't know what it is for you guys, but you can let me know in the comments. Super interested to hear which people are watching this and who is following me on this channel. So that would be interesting. This was all just my point of view and um, to give you the point of view of somebody else, me, having been my own agent kind of for my whole career and getting into sport and doors kind of as an ambassador is a little different, but my fiance, Sophia Prosvenova, registered just like any other athlete on the page. She is, besides being my favorite person, she is also an incredibly good short track speed skater right now on the way to her third Olympic games. We're gonna be there together. I'm pretty stoked about that. But for now, I just wanna give her the word and see what she thinks about sport and doors and what was her first impressions? Therefore, allow me to introduce Sophia Prosvenova. Hi, Sophia. Hello. 
It it is uh, still a little embarrassing that after almost three years of dating, he doesn't know how to pronounce my last name. <laughs> That's my personal touch to it. Thanks for joining this video and for coming all the way out from our kitchen to take part of this. It's a four meter travel. I really appreciate that. I invited Sophia to be part of this video because she has had a different journey into this whole marketing yourself than I had. And also, to be fair, she is a little more uncomfortable trying to sell herself and market herself than I have grown to be. That's why she can benefit from sport doors, I think. Yeah, I feel a little awkward branding myself and awkward speaking on the camera. I'll try my best. Uh, I've never been agent to myself, kind of, and never had any sponsor. So, uh, until this point, I've had um, a lot of opportunity right now as I'm signed up for a sports endorse. I downloaded this app and uh, filled in the simple form where you talk a little about yourself, explain what you do, attach some photos, and uh, in a few weeks after that, uh, I've been reached uh, by a uh, manager from the app uh, asking me what um, what sponsors. Uh, there's a, like a big list of sponsors in the app that you can pick, like not pick from, but look at them and what they do, what they represent. And he asked me what sponsors I would like to work with in the future. So it was like really personal and I enjoyed it a lot. And yeah, we keep in touch and I think it's, it's gonna work. I wasn't even, when I started working with Sport Indoors, I didn't know that that was part of it. I really thought it was an individual app and then came to realize that it's a lot more than an application. The fact that there's an actual person reaching out to Sophia um, shows that they, I mean, they really care. Yeah. And, and it's not just this like, dating like thing like oh it's a match it's not a match it, it really matches the profile and the uh, like the personality i would say of the athlete to the brand also the cool thing is that you see the whole brands that already you already know that they would like to work with athletes as they signed up for this app so re reaching out to them is not embarrassing because you know that this is what they want they're on the platform because they want yeah. athletes. They, they want they're what we the stand platform, for. Because yeah. <laughs> that's, that's one thing I felt growing up, that when I was 20 years old mm -hmm. or 18 years old, I wanted to be a professional speed skater. And I would uh, like call, like literally call companies in my town, like, hi, I'm Victor. You guys uh, want to sponsor me? <laughs> like, what do you do? I skate. Oh, you're good? I'm trying to be. <laughs> it's, <laughs> it's just hard. And like, I almost felt rude doing that. Especially because you don't know, like, if they need it. Like knocking on doors mm -hmm. and trying to pitch something. Or, like, sell cookies. Yeah, <laughs> it's like selling cookies. Sell well. cookies to somebody who doesn't eat sugar. Yeah, you don't know if they're on a diet, you know. Yeah. Get an agent, because, like, sport doors doesn't take high commission, but even the highs I've seen is 20%. And they won't take any commission until you start earning income. Also, it's so much more than you can do yourself. Yeah. Just ideas on is it better to do reels or better to do posts on Instagram, things that we don't, I mean, I don't have an education. We don't have educations in that field. It's just easier. Shouldn't Sophia be in more videos? Maybe not. Right? Okay, leave me a comment if you want Sophia to be in more videos because she loves it. Mm. Thank you guys for being part of this. Thank you.